In 3D Coat 4.5, there are a handful of new additions to the Retopo room, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. We're going to start off by going to the Select tool, and let's say you have expended a little bit of effort trying to create a special or specific selection on your model, and you'd rather not have to go through all that again. So if you want to store that selection, you now can here using the Store Select, or you could load the selection later on. So let's go ahead and do that. Just brush select a group of polygons here in the eye region. You could also use from the ePanel any one of these marquee selection types if you like. So once that is made, let's go to store select and we'll just name it eye. And now I can hit escape. Later on in the process, at any point in time, you can load that selection. And there it is. Now, that works easily enough, but it's not quite as elegant as having a panel list here in the UI. So I've asked Andrew about that. I think it's just something that's on the to-do list. So if you'd like to see that done sooner rather than later, you can always drop him a request at support at 3d-coat.com. Okay, so let's carry on now. I'll drop that selection by hitting the escape key, or you could use the clear selection button here at the top of the interface or at the very bottom. Or you could hit the space bar and use the clear selection here. So let's now turn to another tool. And you can also quickly make a selection if you have a part of your mesh divided by UV island like this. You can see it's divided by this uh, seam selection. So when you tap inside the UV preview window, 3D Coat will select not only that island, but it'll also select all the polygons here in the interface for you. So that's a quick way of making a very specific selection. Once we have that, we have a new addition called the Scale Tool. This is just another alternative to using the Transform Tool. You'll get a gizmo with a Transform Tool, but with Scale, you'll get a pop-up window that allows you to enter the value numerically or scrub a slider. So let's say we wanted that to be a perfect 50%. You could do it that way. So let's go back to 100% and you have some other alternatives for axial scaling using normal direction or along a Y or Z axis and so on Click Cancel. And the next thing we want to look at is when you have a specific selection made, you can now use the Relax tool with either polygons or edges, not just vertices. Previously, you would have to relax using vertices only. So you would have to switch to vertices. And that's not something the average user would be aware of. Okay, they would not see a relax tool when they would make a selection with faces or edges. And um, yeah, that's a new addition that's pretty handy now. So let me escape. And let's say, for example, you had a row of edges. I'm just going to use the Select Path tool here. Click my first point and my last point. And just hit the Enter key. 3D Coat will make that selection for me. Hit this gate key if I want to drop the Select Path tool all together. And now I can choose Relax. It's going to relax just those vertices or those edges there. Okay, so I hit Escape. Another new addition is the color palette here. You can change between the list of colors that you want to utilize 
uh, to color your individual meshes and UV islands. So every time you create a separated island by a seam selection, 3D Coat is going to use a separate color for that to give the user some identification that it is indeed now a separated UV island. Okay, so if you don't like the colors that you have here, you can always change them up to something else. So let's say, for example, I don't like using pink in any scenario, so let's choose something like that. And so let's quick look at some of the new additions to the Retopo room in 3D Coat 4.5. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.